I did. I did see Mommy kissing Santa Claus. And I'm going to tell my dad. Woo! Hello, boys and girls. Knife Licker here. That's right. And uh, I've got a little something-something for you today. You're going to like this one because it's beautiful. We have the VDK Strix. Would you look at that absolutely beautiful, stunning, sexy cutting tool? Oh, boy. And watch this. You ready? Uh, oh, one more time. Oh, ready? Whoop. Woo! That's right. Action on this thing is stupid. Okay, this was sent to me from the Apex Pass Around Group, the VDK Strix. Now, um, VDK is a company that was started by one guy named Vlad, and I cannot pronounce his last name, so I'm not going to try. But I will uh, flash his Instagram page, so you will see his last name there. And check out his uh, different models that he uh, has. There's one, um, uh, I believe Therapeutic Edge did a review on it, one called the Wasp. Oh boy, guys, that thing is the, I want to try to find that one, it's amazing. But this is another one of his designs, one of his newer ones, the Strix. And um, I'm pretty sure that this is uh, um, Therapeutic Edge's knife too, um, Peter's. And let's give you some specs, shall we? So we have a 3.5 inch M390 blade with a hollow grind as your primary. Then you have a flat grind for the tip. And it is a thick stock, 4 millimeter. This one is a nice satin finish, as you can see. We have an anodized, kind of like a turquoise titanium handle here. We got a titanium backspacer. Beauteous. Hello, lovely. We have a milled titanium pocket clip. There you can see your M390. Or can you? Yep, maybe. Um, it is on ceramic barons, ceramic detent. And as I showed you in the beginning, drop shut for days. Ready? Whoop. Guys, the detent on this knife is really, really good. Like, I cannot... And this, this is a heavy blade, guys. This Tanto, or Tonto, however you want to say it. And being 4 millimeter, this is a heavy blade. And I cannot fail this knife. I mean, the detent is phenomenal. Um, I believe that Vlad has these built by Wii. I believe Wii Knife Company is the OEM on the, the VDK knives. And um, what else we got here? This knife is uh, just over 8 inches. And it only weighs 3.53 ounces. And that's because, as you can see here, you have a very thin handle this way. And um, when I first saw this knife, I kind of thought it looked a little silly, to be honest with you. I still do. And with this big Tonto, ta Tanto blade here, I don't know, it just it looks silly. It looks a bit silly to me. But when you handle this knife and you see it in person, you... You, t you totally forgive it. I mean, it's just absolutely sexiness. And the way that this thing performs and the action, and it's very thin behind the edge. I measured between 16 and, uh, what else was it? 16 and about 18 thousandths behind the edge. And um, slices like a dream. And guys, the action on this knife is on par with my, um, my Riot Crossroads. It really is. It's absolutely phenomenal. But um, Vlad started VDK Knives as um, he's an enthusiast. Like, he's a knife collector like a lot of us. And um, he just drew, started drawing up his own designs. And um, we has made them for him. He's done, geez, uh, at least five or six different models. And maybe more. 
And um, every one of them, I mean, he's got a very uh, distinctive design language. I'll uh, I'll post up some pictures of some of also the different variations of the Strix that is offered. Um, I'm not sure. I did see Knife Center has a few still in stock. These aren't cheap. Um, the they're between three hundred and fifty to what was I saw one that was about that was over it was almost five hundred dollars. Um, they aren't cheap, guys. It all depends. There's some with uh with um. Damascus blades, different finishes. Um, I mean, they definitely aren't giving these away. It's a very, very well built knife, that's for sure. But um, uh, I don't know, honestly, if I would pay three fifty for. I mean, maybe, maybe I would. You know, it, it's a good knife. It, the action's definitely there, but um, it's just I don't know. I feel. I feel like in a Riot, a lot of their stuff at the, at the 350 to $400 just has a lot more details and, and they're just a lot more intricate builds, in my opinion, than um, something like this. And uh, so I do feel, honestly, that this is a little overpriced, but, you know, to each their own. Who am I to say that it's overpriced, but... I just, I don't know if I would spend that kind of money on it, but this knife is a great knife, and it is, the action's there for sure, and um, it's beautiful, and uh, so Vlad just, he comes up with his own designs, and he um, sends them to we, and they make up his knives for him, and like I said, I will post up a picture of his um, Instagram page, so you guys can stop by and check all the different ones that he has, and um, leave a like. Subscribe. Let me know down below what you guys think of the VDK Strix. It is um definitely interesting knife for sure. And I bet a lot of you, when you look at this, might think it's weird too because of the, the thinness of this handle. I don't know, it just looks kind of weird next to that blade, the proportions. But when you get this thing in hand, though, it just like it all comes together. It really does. Um, so um yeah. Let me know what you guys think, and uh, Merry Christmas to you, Happy Hanukkah, um, whatever holidays might be um, being celebrated right now, I love all of you, I wish you the best, and I'm going to give this knife a half a lick, well I'm not going to really lick it though because it ain't my knife, um, only because I think it's a little overpriced, but like I said, who am I to say? Let me know, guys. Love you long time. Oh, before I go, let's give you a size comparison, shall we? Be on the lookout, because this is going to be the next knife that I do. It was sent to me by my buddy Rusty on Instagram. The Giant Mouse Ace Grand. We will throw that in here for a little size comparison. So, you got your Ace Grand. And your Strix. Okay. So it's a little bit longer than the uh, Grand. Not by much, though. So be on the lookout for this. And as always, guys, love you. Peace.